Today I'll be showing you how to apply the adhesive that you will then apply your gold leaf to, how to burnish it, and then apply the sealer to the finished gold leaf application. The adhesive and sealer that I'm using today are both made by Speedball. It's a good idea to gently stir the product before you use it, and then when you apply the adhesive, you apply it in a very thin coat where you want the gold leaf to adhere to the painting. And this, by the way, is an acrylic painting. So here you can see I am applying the adhesive, and where it seems to puddle, I pull that along to thin it out. It's important not to have the adhesive puddling. So once I'm finished applying the adhesive, I wait about 30 minutes. The product will turn from a milky color to clear. And then I begin applying the gold leaf. This particular gold leaf I'm using is also by Speedball and I love it because it has different colors of rust and turquoise going through it and I thought that that would look really beautiful with this painting. And as I'm applying the gold leaf, you'll notice that I oftentimes gently tap it down. And this seems to be a good idea when applying it to the tacky adhesive. Now I'm going to remove the excess gold foil using a very soft bristle brush. I believe this brush is actually used in blending pastel and I find it very useful in this removing and burnishing process. I also use a very light touch. You don't need to really push very hard. It's more of a soft sweeping motion across the gold leaf. I let this dry for about 30 minutes and then I took the sealer and gently stirred it as I did with the adhesive and applied a very thin coat to the gold leaf. It's important to apply a thin coat. The instructions say to not over brush so you don't want to keep going back and forth over the surface and also it does dry clear, which is of course very important. As you can see, there's quite a few pieces of the gold leaf left over that I'm going to save, and I found it really easy to pick it up with the uh, palette knife spatula and put it back into its original packaging. And now that the gold foil is securely on my painting, I decided to go back in and this time with oil paint. I felt like it really could use a splash of color and add more depth to the finished painting. And as I'm adding more paint to the painting, I am careful to work around the gold leaf. I really want to preserve that. So here is the finished painting. I hope you enjoyed this process. Please leave a comment below. Let me know how it goes for you. And I hope you'll also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye.